I bought this saw. It was kind of an auction. It looked kind of a little bit worn on the outside, but not bad. Just mainly the starter housing was busted up on it, on the veins. But other than that, it looked just like an old worn saw. But when I got tearing into it, I haven't cleaned this saw. This is how it came. And I don't know. This is pretty clean for a... 1966 or 68 XP 1020 automatic. I mean, it sat around, little scuffs on the bottom, but I don't, the only real ding on it I see is here. Looks like the paint crew did a little sloppy job here, but this just doesn't have a lot of use on it, I don't believe. Uh, I'm almost, uh, I'll take the rest of it apart, but I've got it all the rest bagged and tagged in baggies with notes in them where they go. I'll take all the painted pieces out and soak those and clean those and, and, uh, get ready to prep and paint this. Uh, I've got all the decals for this and the original bar. That's, so, we're coming along. A lot of preparation to do and paint and there's an oil line I think I need to replace because oh I thought it unscrewed and I bent it a little bit and I'm afraid to, I don't know if I can bend it back straight without busting it so I just might buy another one but yeah the saw is in awfully good shape I had some ignition problems these ignitions they on the read on the service manual that these three bolts that hold this on, there's just a little bit of wiggle room. And when you're putting this on, you're supposed to push this all the way to the left. And I mean, it may be only maybe an eighth of an inch, but I had some problems that one, it was out of time and two, it was dragging a little bit on the inside of the flywheel. So it, it does make a difference, I believe. But, it, you know, Got a good condenser on it. Points will look good and clean. I checked all those and gosh darn, I just like I said, is it just is about as clean of an old saw as you can get. So I'm kind of happy about that. Once I get it all the way torn down, I'll like I said I'll start scrubbing it, clean it, and then priming it and painting it. It's gonna take me a while. Probably won't get it done until it gets warmed up weather. Well, that's probably it for now. I um, guess we could go through uh, these, these videos. When I post a video, if it isn't over three minutes, they uh, YouTube and then post it to a short, what they call a short. And so then I have to go to a, I had to find out where my shorts were, which was right in plain sight. But I wasn't looking for it other than where my videos were, but they changed that. But that's the inside of the fuel tank. That sucker looks good. I've replaced um, uh, tie, tie, whatever. Put new fuel lines and fuel filter on it. The yellow stuff. But yeah, uh, I got all everything bagged and had little notes in each one of them. Uh, there's the old air filter. I mean, it sat around, but. It doesn't look like it was used. Here's the cylinder shield. Still had the instructions on it. I mean, nothing's dinged up. Nothing's busted. The only thing that was busted was everywhere this, everywhere that these mounting bolts were, they were broken off, and they were somebody had taken some baling wire and wired the recoil on. But I put a new re uh, housing on, and it was doing the same thing. I was going to about ready to bust the recoil off there. And it had to do with a timing issue on those ignition points is, uh, is what I, the only thing I can figure because I, uh, I mean, I, I even bought a new, uh, used, new used recoil, and this is a two-slot starter cup. It had a three. And then below that starter cup is a bronze bushing, bronze that this nut screws in. And mine, mine, the bushing was torn off, or it was worn down inside here where the where this was. So the recoil was really worn, and I imagine it was from trying to pull it so hard. But uh, yeah, I 
putting shields inside there, uh, plastic shields. That didn't really come till a little later, but I went ahead and put them in there. And, uh, I mean, you don't see many of them with the, with the uh, clutch cover in, in that good on the inside. They're usually scratched up from a chain bucking in there, but there isn't much on here that that's dinged up. And fortunately, I didn't have to pay a hundred or two hundred dollars for a muffler shield, and that one's in good shape. That's a cast one. Some of these aren't cast, but that one is cast. It's kind of a rough cast, but it works. But yeah, everything's in here's in good shape. So I guess we'll, it'll how the restoration goes will have to depend upon the painter. I haven't been real, real happy on some of the applications I've done. I may go to a powder coating on this or a, or a lacquer and then a, a two-part epoxy top coat. That's, that's my thoughts, but um, off for now.